Please subscribe the channel, press the like button and activate the notification. I am obedient, docile, and adaptable girl. I go up the stairs, sit on the chair, open my mouth, eat two bites, slimmer, vanish, I'm illusion. That's how the heroine of the novel described herself in the worst stage of her life. The novel All That I Want to Forget is one of the novels of the Kuwaiti's writer, Botani El Essa, published in 2013. Now, before I make my personal remarks, I will present the story of the novel in my own way. The novel begins with the heroine of the novel Fathima, fled from her marriage and hiding from her world in a cheap hotel, an old lady in the 25th of her age. At 3.30 in the morning, Fathima still awake, occupied by ideas she does not desire, decided to get rid of them by taking the Brazalim hypnotic magical medicine as she described, and at the end she wished to succumb to sleep. Fathima nightmare started at the age of 13 with a car accident, which not only ended her parents' lives but also hers. When her half-brother, Sager, the older, with 16-year difference the owner of her life more than being a guardian days of solace passed, and then Fathima left with Sager to his home. He pushed her 14 degrees downward and told her that the crypt satiated with green rot was her room, and he apologized to her because he did not have any additional rooms other than the one he preferred to fill with sports equipment. Fathima spent days adjusting to her new nightmare. All she carried from her old life was only her clothes. Even her toys were stolen from her on charges of incitement to immorality and debauchery. For Fathima to obtain the blessing of Saker and to blend in with the family, and to get a little love that he awarded to his doyer when he sees her with a veil. She wore the hijab, but for her the ceremony for wearing the hijab was very short. His wife Badria bought her clothes and veils. Sager pronounced his only word saying, then everything was over. She returned to her crypt, looking at her mother's portraits and wishing she had not been born. We came back with Fathima a little in memory while she was looking at an old photo of her parents and we knew that her father married her mother immediately after the death of his first wife, who left two children with a 14-year-old Sager and a 10-year-old Vod. Her mother was 18 years old. After months of marriage, Vod died of fever. At the age of 16, Sager traveled to study and returned, after one year, a variable wearing the clothing of religious fanaticism. Work in a simple government position in the archives department. At the age of 21, he married Badra, they had their only daughter Duha, and they continued to have more boys. Sager imposed a lot of pressure on Fathima's life. As for him, Fathima is a disobedient, misleading person. From the first day, he imposed inspection visits to Fathima, as she should not read stories, you should not listen to music, you should not draw, you should not write, you should not think. He showered her with religious lectures in order to treat her intellectual pollution. Fathima has never adapted to Sager's home. It was the house of the chosen and she was the insurgent. No matter how Fathima tried, she did not succeed in penetrating their lives and failing with academic achievement. Unlike the rest of his children made the situation impossible and worse, Sager's enjoyment seeing her falling off the cliff was the worst. Sager is the older brother and guardian. The guardian's obedience is a must. It is not permissible to argue with him, as he plays the role of God in raising her. At home. There is no right to Fathima, even to isolate in her crypt. Family councils are a religious duty she should share. At the age of 17, Sager decided that Fathima must accompany him to pray at the mosque. This was his way of telling her that she was spinster, and that it's time to display the goods. At the end of the prayer, Sager presented her to the sellers. Fathima was disgusted. At home. She threatened that she would distort herself if she was forced to marry. Fathima is tired of justifying herself, but she does not have the luxury of rest. She must win to what remains of her. Fathima wrote her first poem. She rejoiced silently. She was terrified, fearing for her child, who must protect him from Saker in order not to assassinate him. 
she was unwilling to bring her another fatwa that prohibits poetry. Then Fatima decided to hide her poems forever, and what started with one poem became poems and notebooks, thus she found in poetry another mother for her. Fatima was forced to master the circumvention arts, she became able to hide her files behind secret numbers, to delete her browsing history for poetry and literature forums, to hide her poems and book notes brilliantly, and to lie so that she could go to the library to pick out a forbidden fruit and read it. In her second year of high school, Fatima decided that she would like to study in the College of Arts, and specializing in poetry with her childhood friend, Hayat, she shouted with all her strength with what she gathered from the legitimate support for her stand. Sager rejected was unequivocal, poetry is harem, mixing is harem and she has no place but girls' college. In the girls' college that Fatima was forced to join. For the first time, she quarrels with her friend Hayat. Hayat is asking for more from Fatima. She wants her to preserve their friendship and do not want to lose her. But the gap between them has become large. Especially after Hayat entered the life of a different university. And get to know her new world and friends, a world. Fatima always wanted to be part of it, but it was powerless in front of the Sager dominance. Then after continuous persistence from Hayat, she managed to persuade Fatima to join her in attending a poetry seminar at 12.30 in the next day. The symposium was in a simple hall with a small number of attendees. Four university students from different colleges casted their own poetry. Fatima was impressed with Esam's poetry, and had encouraged her to talk to him. And when Esam felt her shyness, he gave her his personal email on a piece of paper. Later Fatima returned to her crypt. She didn't want to lose the poetry perfume she inhaled in the hall. More importantly, she wants to know Esam. Fatima turned on the computer. Entered the email to start another life. She sent shyly some of her poetry, to which Esam replied with strength and courage terrified her. She is the one who lives in silence when crypt. Esam did not give up. Asked for her name. Ordered more of her poetry. Fatima was terrified by the light that had leaked into the darkness of her crypt. She finished everything. Something has changed inside Fatima that she couldn't understand. And despite the pass of six months, why do you only think about Esam? Something pushed her to return to her computer to call, to find Esam waiting for her. To tell her that she was not absent from his thinking, that he is writing poetry for her, that he loves her. Fatima spent three months communicating with Esam. He changed her world beside her soul and body. He told her about a world she didn't touch before, told her about her world. She was surprised how she trusted him to tell him things she had not even told her friend had. He told her about his mother, how strong she is, and how compassionate she is. She told him about her mother, mermaid from Bahrain. Fatima learned how to love and to be loved. Fatima met Esam for the first time in his university library, and after that, the meetings were repeated, the love increased and the attachment increased. Fatima needed another six months to accept his invitation to join the reading club. She felt merged from the first moment, felt belonging, and they discussed poetry and the power of words. A year has passed since their relationship. Esam called her and told her that his gift for her was to cast poetry in a poetry lecture. Fatima was surprised by how she was not dismayed. Is poetry her shield now from harm? Is Esam her strength? A small mistake with a giant effect. The forum published the names of the poets in the newspaper and in advertisements as a matter of propaganda. They mentioned Fatima's name despite Esam's warnings. Fatima collapsed. Poet Shield no longer protects. Everyone assured her that she would be fine, as they got rid of the announced ad everywhere. On the day of the seminar, Fatima came gathering all her strength. Esam met her with a reassuring smile. The number of attendees was big. Esam pointed to a lady and informed her that she is his mother and she attended for her. The symposium started. Esam casted his poet and Fatima stood up to hear the world for the first time her voice. But at that moment she felt the earth was shaken, 
as she hears a voice that she knows well. The world vanished, Fathima fell in the chasm of the crypt, Sagar attacked her with all his might, hit her and insulted her with the ugliest words. Esam intervention could not save her, nor his mother weeping while seeing him beaten with chairs, her poem seeped a red thread from her mouth. The memory scattered, she is pulled by the corridor, thrown by the car, beaten with shoes, thrown in the crypt, severely beaten, saw her poems driven to the fire, and her mobile and computer are stolen, her only window on the world. Fathima resisted. She crept into the Duhla room to make a phone call, which exposed by Sager's obedient child, Sager pulled her again 14 degrees below the awareness line. To prevent her from other attempts, the room door was closed, a door that only opened at mealtime, a door that was closed for months. Fathima lost the poetry shield. Fathima lost her strength in the absence of Esam. She became empty, became nothing. Fathima's presence was no longer necessary on the dining table, but her food was sent to the crypt, and the regime won. Fathima discovered a poetry notebook that survived the flame. Fathima sentenced it to death by drowning, and nothing has meaning anymore. Fathima woke to a voice on Badria telling her that she had ended her three-year solitary confinement. Fathima was scared Fathima how to leave her crypt. Fathima you had a groom. The wedding was simple enough to pity. Fathima wore a white robe and Badria helped her to prepare for the wedding. A wedding that does not bear any manifestation of joy, and with a funeral calmness she left Fathima with Ferris, the man who became her husband that night. Fathima left with him, felt sorry for him. He married an old lady in her second decade. Fathima woke up in the hotel room next to a man who was never been part of her dreams, and so she became a virgin married lady. Fathima found the authority on the TV. She wished her mother and father would return, but here she is, lonely on her wedding morning, nothing matters. Neither marriage nor the man lying on her side. Nothing is important but Tom and Jerry. They haven't left the hotel room yet. Fathima discovered MBC2 channel. She could not hide her dazzle on fairs, and was surprised that the world owned enough films to be shown throughout the day. Fathima never turned off the TV all her marriage time, cause of her fear of silence and loneliness if closed it, from returning to the orphans obscene in the crib grave. Fathima left with Ferris to honeymoon in Thailand. Fathima felt happy because she do not need to imagine seeing the beauty that he is now in front of her. That night Fathima realized that Ferris is like all men. He specified for her what her life should be like as a wife and a family head, even though she only met him three days ago, but she thought that this world is ultimately the world of men. After days, Fathima rejected to visit the beach. She felt strange with her completely covered body in a place where everyone was stripped, sitting on the beach without the right to enjoy it. Under a new authority in the name of the jealous husbands, the nonsense made her mad. Ferris gave Fathima what every girl dreamed of, a house whose walls are covered with wallpapers, filled with modern furniture, everything in it radiates bright colors, nothing pleases her. The light hurt her and the colors burns her, she, the one who left days ago her white crypt. Although Fathima lived in this dream home for a year, but its colors could not erase the inner oryx, she is unable to live. Back with Fathima to the starting point, for the cheap hotel, as she imagines Ferris as he comes home surprised by an empty house, till finally hint the yellow piece of paper, telling him that his love hurts, that she is damaged and incapacitated, and that her departure is the best thing that happens to him. Fathima hoped that she would use a bigger piece of paper to fill it with her apologies for night panic, migraine headaches, unjustified crying, and her psychiatrist's failure to pull her out of abyss, and her abnormal joy being barren. The next day Fathima left the hotel, and at the adjacent flower shop, she made a phone call. Ferris panicked, asked her about her disconnected phone, and asked her to come back to home. Fathima replied that she is sick and untreatable, asked for divorce. But Ferris strongly rejected and asked to meet her. 
She refused and ended the call. Fathima met Hayat to have coffee. Hayat could not hide her surprise. She rained Fathima with many questions. As she didn't met her after that day at the forum, she informed her of her failure to call her phone, and the maid refused to enter her home to check on her. Hayat cried and asked Fathima to forgive her. Fathima told Hayat that she was imprisoned and got married a year ago, and although he is a man who does not offend her, but she is corrupted, so she wants to help him get rid of her, to give him a final gift, to give him a divorce, and asked for Hayat help in finding a job. During her one-week residence in the hotel, she got a new phone number, talked affair several times, she asked for divorce every time, and he refused every time, cried out sometimes, and threatened other times, and begged sometimes, but Fathima made up her decision, she wants to end the tragedy. Fathima blamed Ferris for his refusal to complete her studies, or working, or wrote poetry except secretly. She told him that she is trying with all her might to maintain her fragile and trifle presence in the world. Hayat came to the hotel room, informed Fathima that she would take her to her house. Hayat collected Fathima's stuff scattered all over the room with a sick chaos, and disposed of her medicine in the trash basket. Fathima said in panic, I need my medicine. Hayat embraced her and promised not to abandon her and support her with all her might. They left the hotel and on arrival, Fathima received a warm welcome from Ahmed, husband of Hayat, and their child. Mosat, Hayat guided her to her room, she loved her heavenly blue color, Fathima was amazed that the colors no longer hurts her, Fathima made her last call with fares. He was unable to persuade her to change her mind. He told her that Saker is sick and was hospitalized, as diabetes caused blindness in his right eye and he desires to see her. Fathima visited the hospital accompanied by Hayat and Ahmed. Dutha welcomed the surprise that Fathima wore a blue dress, she muttered with few words that Fathima ignored and entered Sager's room. Fathima saw the dragon who had guarded her crypt for years sitting on the hospital bed. Fathima picked her breath and said, I forgive you. Sagers get mad as for him he didn't do anything wrong. She told him that he don't deserve forgiveness but she forgive him for herself, as she wants to live the rest of her life, even if she is unable to forget but she does not want to be disturbed by questions about the reasons that let him harm her. Fathima left the hospital leaving her crypt and his guardian, climbing 14 steps toward the new world light. Fathima is now part of a family. She is the sister of Hayat and the aunt of Mossad. Hayat talks all the time about Esam and his desire to meet Fathima despite knowing all the circumstances. Fathima smiled when she knew that he was not married and that he was still writing poetry. Fares came to Ahmad's and Hayat's house with his lawyer. The conversation began with a skirmish that the lawyer intervened to end it saying that his client refused to divorce. He asked Fathima to return to her husband's house. Fathima spoke quietly that she wants a divorce by mutual consent, and then Ferris exploded as gunpowder. And when voices get louder, Fathima asked to speak with Fares in private. Everyone left the room. Fathima sat quietly beside Ferris. She told him that she loved him, and thanked him for all the times he stood beside her, and she apologized that she could not be the wife she wanted, and that he deserves a better life. Ferris stood up smiled and said, Fathima I loved you, but you are divorced. Fathima sat in her room indulged in writing the poetry until Masat called her for lunch. She got out of her room surprised by the presence of an unexpected guest. Why else I'm here? Fathima stumbled, ran away from the house. Esam followed her and stood in front of her. Their heartbeats was chasing. Esam apologized in a sad tone about that day in the forum. Fathima thought that the memory no longer hurt. She looked at Esam with a smile. Esam smiled back. By that, the novel ended. I hope I presented it in a good way and now allow me to present my personal opinion. The novel presented Fathima's life and the nightmare she lived because of her brother Saker's misunderstanding of religion. He persecuted Fathima and deprived her of her rights to study, work, think, and choose, 
until he reached the limit of her imprisonment. Fathima suffered severe psychological harm, leaving its slaps on her delicate soul with poetry, and on her skinny body, her exit from the crypt did not help her recover. And despite what Ferris presented to her, he could not take her out of the abyss. Fathima realized that no one can save her but herself. She escaped from a marriage that does not resemble her, she forgives Sager to heal her soul, surrounded herself with a family loves her, went back to write poetry to soar again. The novel spoke about Esam, and that he is the little son that ignited the warmth in Fathima's heart and encouraged her not to surrender and not be ashamed of her poetic strength. Hayat is the best example of a friend, she did not give up Fathima, who constantly pushed her to not surrender and discover life even if a secret. As a result, that Sager put Hayat in his blacklist, she is the rotten apple. But at the end Hayat and her husband and son gave Fathima a house and a beloved family. Finally, I hope everyone can read this novel, the language of the novel is very wonderful. The author mocked the words to convey the feelings of the protagonist in a way that leads you to live her grief, crying for her, smiling with her, and praying for her. The language of the novel makes you fall in love with the Arabic language again to discover that the words possess their own feelings that shake you with all strength. And I admit that the language of the novel captured me, which prompted me to use a lot of its words in my summary. I was overwhelmed by an indescribable happiness when the writer gave the heroine of her novel a dreamy end she deserves. Thanks for your generous watching. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. Press the like button and activate the notification.